I'm April Nicole and you're watching April Nicole Design. Thank you for tuning in. Today what I'm going to be talking about is what should be in a basic sewing kit. So I'll put together my little sewing kit for you and I'm going to explain different items and tools that you'll need for sewing. So first off, I have this little sewing box here which is really old. I've had this since I was in middle school. Oh my gosh. So my sewing box has really evolved from this to this heavy duty thing. It's bigger than me. This is what you should have in your sewing kit if you are starting off. So first we're going to get right into it with this lovely pin cushion this little tomato looking thing um pin cushions come in different varieties um different sizes as well there's also this little chili pepper thing here on the end which this is used for to sharpen your pen so just stick it in kind of give it a little whirl around here and it sharpens the pen I also have my pens color coded. Yeah, I'm weird. Um, <laughs> I just like for everything to be nice and neat. I have the sewing needles in here and also in the sewing needle little pack there is the needle threader here, which is very convenient in this little kit. I also have a video about how to use a threading needle or a needle threader rather so you'll definitely need these for hand sewing I have thimbles which I have different kinds here um, this is the main one that I use this one's really old I think my grandmother gave this to me and I also have this one it's a little bit shorter in size versus this one and I also have the one with the gel setting that you just stick on whatever finger you want. I usually use my index finger anyways. But there's the other thimble. Next we have the seam ripper. Which I have two. The main one I use is this one because it's um, it can fit my hand better than this little small one here. Um, these are really sharp, um, especially at the point here. This is used to remove any um, seams that you sew and it's wrong. So you can take out the seam or take out the thread with the seam ripper. Be sure to check out my video on how to use a seam ripper. Next is the sewing gauge, which is this little thing here like a short ruler this little middle piece moves this is good for hems um, making sure that the measurement stays the same across the hem um, you can also use this for um, measuring the correct seam allowance on your sewing machine um, because sometimes the measurements on the sewing machine they're not exactly the same as the seam allowance you should be sewing um, so this is a good tool to measure the correct seam allowance as well next we have Taylor's chalk which is this rectangular looking piece here this helps mark different markings on your um, fabric from pattern pieces like the darts or the notches or if you need to um, alter a certain piece you can use this for the marking sewing shears these are fabric shears you want to mainly use these only for cutting fabric not paper because you can mess up the blade and it can cut your fabric really rigid if you use your shears on paper and then try to cut fabric so don't do that have a separate pair of scissors for cutting out paper or cutting out pattern pieces, but you want to use your shears to cut fabric. The other kind of 
scissors that we have are pinking shears. And these are the zigzag scissors. So if you don't have a serger or an overlocking machine, you can use your pinking shears to cut on the raw edges so they won't fray. I also have these mini scissors here. So I have a rotary cutter, which is here. Um, I don't typically use this a lot, only if I'm cutting out um, very thin fabric. I also have a self um, healing mat that I have on my table. Um, I'll show that to you a little bit later. But I use this on the mat so it won't destroy my table that's underneath the mat. I also have another type of pink cushion which I failed to mention earlier. This one is a magnetic pink cushion. You can put your safety pins, um, needles, I also have a razor blade on here also. And you can actually use a razor blade to um, take the place of a seam ripper, but be very careful if you're gonna use a razor blade because these are really sharp. Also, with this magnetic pin cushion, if you drop pins on the floor, you can use this and kind of run it across your floor to pick up pins that fall on the floor. So it's really handy. Next is the tracing wheel. And no, this is not a pizza cutter, even though it looks like it. This, you can use um, tracing paper and um, use the wheel on the tracing paper to um, mark your markings on your fabric from your pattern, like darts, notches, spools of thread that you want to keep in your sewing kit just in case you have to re-sew a button or something of that nature. I also have extra buttons here. I have a tape measure. This is really handy. Usually I put it around my neck um, so that it's always there. Just in case if I need to remeasure something like a seam. Also with the safety pins, they're good to use if you are cutting multiple pieces of fabric. Okay, so that's pretty much everything that's in my sewing kit. All of these tools are essential for sewing and it makes life a lot easier. Thank you so much for watching. I'm April Nicole. Bye.